Hello everybody, I am your doctor, and as your doctor, I'd like to say, I am not much of a morning person. I do not like getting up, I do not like hearing my alarm clock. Sometimes I wake up before my alarm clock wakes up and tells me to wake up. I don't like mornings. I wish I could sleep in, but I can't. Another thing that kind of leads to all this. I don't like traffic. I don't like the interstate, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So I have a bit of a morning story for you guys. So my morning story goes like this. I'm driving to work against my will, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> and some guy in a white truck decides to come behind me. But first of all, I would like to say that I'm doing 80 miles per hour in the fast lane, minding my own business, and I have the, the what do you call it, um, cruise control, that's what you call it, cruise control. I have that on, 80 miles per hour, I'm driving, half asleep, cup of coffee with me, trying to stay awake. This guy behind me decides he wants to go a little bit faster. So I'm looking at him. He's on my bumper. I don't like it when you ride on bumpers. I don't even drive on people's bumpers. I don't understand why you want to drive on someone's bumper. It's scary. You could just ride into them, right? So I thought. So this guy's driving on my bumper, right? And I just say, okay, I don't care. So he decides he's going to race right by me going 90 or so and almost hit my bumper to get in front of me. And then he decides to do something that kind of scares me in confusion. He decides he's going to hit his freaking brakes to brake check me, then stomp on the gas to shoot in front of me. This dude already put me in a bad mood. He's falling behind me. He turns on his brights. I don't know what that means. When someone's behind you, you're doing 80 on the interstate. You're supposed to be doing 70 in the first place. And they turn your brights on. And just hold him there. What is that going to help do? Besides just piss you off and blind you and you're just like... What are you doing, dude? So this dude jumps in front of me, hits the brakes, then hits his gas, and my reaction is, okay, I'm going to get into the middle lane. I get in the middle lane, I'm in a bad mood. So what do I have next to me? Next to my side. It's a little... Kind of big, kind of gun shape. Not like I'm going to shoot this guy. Not that crazy. But it's like a little gun that has like a lens about like that big. It's a spotlight. Wish I had a light bar. That'd be more funner. I drive up next to him. And all my years of playing Grand Theft Auto just kick in. I do a drive-by with a spotlight. <laughs> I roll down my window, grab it, and I'm just like... Boom! And shoot him. This dude goes, hurry! Stops on the brake. Goes the safe time. He deserved it. He deserved it. I was in a bad mood. I'm not a morning person. I blinded him. And it felt so great. It was so funny. I'd do it again. <laughs> so I'm riding in the middle lane now. Kind of proud of myself. Then it hits in my mind, I'm like, what if this dude's crazy too? Is he going to race up on me? What's he do? He shoots past me going, I don't know, I'm doing like 70, 75 now. He shoots past me, flies right by. I think I ruined his morning. I think he was done screwing with me because I was about to reach down to grab my spotlight again. I didn't see him again after that. And you know what all that adventure did to me? did for me after all that and I got my laugh in I felt good I was kind of awake so guy in a white small truck thank you it woke me up it kind of made my day gave me a story 
doing my first story little video hopefully it comes together good I'm proud of myself yeah